This is Hydrogen Tap. If you've been watching the last few days, you've been noticing the Focus Q. Made a lot of changes to the outside of it. The Focus Q stays the same, the packaging stays the same, but you can do so much with it. One of the things I've done is have this off, this drain off tube here which enables me to uncork it, so to speak, and drain off the entire system. Another interesting feature of the Focus Q is the the way you can change the system. I'm going to show you what I mean by that. What you're looking at here is the top of it where I have my electrodes on it. The Electrodes can be plugged into any one of the onto any one of these top of the plates here, and on the other side and on the bottom. So you can structure your electrodes any way you want, plus minus any any style. But here's something unique. This is a test I just started out. I think uh, it's been interesting. So I'm going to show you how it works here. If you've noticed the focus cue is a closed system. That means to me that the flow of water goes in one side and out the other, so why not close it off completely? What I'm trying to do, or what I have done here, is that. So I've got the downside, this is the drain side, hooked to the hydrogen outside, and if you follow this all the way up, you're going to notice this long tube. It's got a ruler by it only because I need something to straighten out the tube, but there's your other tube. This is just a test. This is just another thing you can do, which is really interesting with the Focus Q. This will give you, this will give you another view of it. So you can see I've got a closed system. And I'm going to turn it on for you here. Remember the water is going down this side and coming up the other side. And in just a second, I see something interesting. Give you an idea of the length of the tube. Kind of interesting, huh? That is truly a closed system. If you want to go to my site, hydrogentap.com, you'll see the focus still picture shots there. I think you might enjoy. Also, the price on the focus, I have it really priced low. So anybody who wants to build one of these things would probably make more sense to buy it. I am having a machine shop do a lot of the work on this, so it's going to be very, very nice. This is the prototype you're looking at here. Again, remember, this is just an idea. So what you have there is the hydrogen coming out the top as it circulates around. Here's the hydrogen coming through and the water being sucked back down again on the other side. I don't know whether this is going to work or not in this configuration, but it's certainly an idea to think about. Now obviously the hydrogen is also going around the other side. So you can see on the right side the hydrogen coming up it comes up on this side and goes down on the other, but some of the hydrogen of course comes down here as well. But what's happening is 
it's forcing up here, which forces up the hydrogen as well. Here's another view of it. If you do this, you do it at your own risk. I have no idea what we actually have going on here, but it looks to me like the hydrogen is coming up through this main tube. The rest is circling around. Eventually it does get up on this tube. We essentially have a pressurized tube here. It's just another idea of what you could do with the focus Q. This may be the workings of a whole nother type of a system which could be really interesting. When you think about it, if it does, if it if it does work, what that means is we can tap onto here. You no longer have that splash problem. We get the hydrogen off the top. I don't know. It's it's just another interesting way of doing this. Of course, we're also getting a lot of hydrogen going back through here. In case you're running, wondering, we're running at 10 amps here. You can see the hydrogen being pushed out. Anyway, it's definitely interesting, don't you think? This is a view of the hydrogen side, the side that's pumping the hydrogen out. Again, if you want to go to my site, hydrogentap.com, I think you'll be interested in those pictures. If you already have an Aaron cell and you're interested in getting this, go up there and you'll see the trade-in value. I don't know whether this, how this system is acting at this point with this, but it's just another thought. Maybe I've given somebody a thought out there that can take this and run with it. So you're looking at the focus Q. <coughs> it's definitely putting out the hydrogen, no question about that. Just unplugged it here. You can see the way I have it set up. You can write me at johnarons at hydrogentap.com if you like.